would have more rain chances in the forecast as we head through the rest of this week. I'll track those coming up in the full forecast. Yeah, so we had to bear the brunt of all of that rain in the Bay Area. Uh, sounds like people in the North Bay had it kind of tough. Kenny Choi is there tonight with their story. George Muldoon has been shoveling most of the day and into the night. We have to hand clean all of this with our our own money, our own water, all that kind of stuff. So it's pretty frustrating. He and neighbors live near Fife Creek, which they say often overflows its banks, even in mild storms. They say they never get help from city crews because it's in an unincorporated part of Guerneville. Despite it being a work day, you got to stay up late and work. Last night, we're all up till 4 a.m. helping each other move cars. Like It's ankle deep right now. The waters have receded, but residents say that earlier today, the water reached all the way up to this fence line. It happens just so fast. It's and like no warning, like there was no water on the ground from what I understood. And like 20 minutes later, all the water was on the ground. My friend said she was surprised that it flooded, but to me, it's no surprise. That truck there would have water close to its doors. That fence, you could barely see the top of it. Um, so you're looking at up to your waist and water standing where we're at. Muldoon's garage flooded, but didn't reach any of the rooms inside his home. Every time it floods, it's a race against time. It'll turn into a concrete of sorts that then turns into a dust bowl in the summertime and it's really unpleasant out here to if, if the wind picks up it'll just it's a mess. Mm -hmm. He's moving all the silt and mud on Mill Court for older neighbors who can't pitch in. It'd be great if we can get some help in the city. Muldoon clings to hope even after years of dealing with messes like this. So you really got to be careful and just understand where you are and where you're living and otherwise in 99% of the year it's a beautiful place to live. It's an admirable positive attitude even after a challenging 24 hours.